Hello everyone and welcome back to the NASCAR History Series. For those who missed the fifth episode about the life of Lee Petty, or any of the previous episodes, I'll leave the links in the description. I also invite you to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss upcoming videos. This sixth episode is about Elsie Wiley Buck Baker, born on March 4th, 1919 in Richburg, North Carolina. Buck Baker participated in the first two NASCAR races ever held in 1949 at Charlotte and the Daytona Beach and Road Course. He wouldn't race in NASCAR full-time until 1953, however, as he spent time in the early 1950s leasing tracks and running his own races. He got his first NASCAR win at Columbia Speedway in 1952, joining the growing list of drivers to find success in the fabulous Hudson Hornet. In his first full year of racing, Buck won four more times and finished the year in fourth place. In 1954, he finished in third place behind Lee Petty and Herb Thomas, and in 1955, he was runner-up to Tim Flock. 1956 was the year for Baker, who became one of the drivers giving Tim Flock an ulcer by joining Carl Kiefer's team. Buck won an impressive 14 races, mostly in a Chrysler 300, and took home the title by 704 points over Herb Thomas. The mercurial key Kafer was out of racing by the following season, joining the growing list of people to battle NASCAR founder Big Bill France. But Baker proved he could win with any team, as he won 10 times in 1957 and became the first driver to win back-to-back -back championships. 1958 was another good year for Baker, but he finished second to Petty, who won his own second championship. In 1959 and 1960, Baker finished in 5th and 4th place to complete a run of 8 years in a row with a top 5 finish. When Wendell Scott earned his only career victory in 1963, Baker was the driver originally credited with the win. The record was later corrected, but Scott missed out on his trophy. Although he ran NASCAR Cup races as late as 1976, Buck Baker's third Southern 500 win at Darlington in 1964 was also his last. After his retirement, Baker opened the Buck Baker Racing School, where Jeff Gordon drove his first stock car. His son Buddy was also a very successful NASCAR driver for 34 years and taught at the school along with Buck's daughter, Susie Baker. Buddy set the speed record for the track in winning the 1980 Daytona 500. His other son Randy also competed in NASCAR and ran Speedtech Auto Racing Schools. In 1993, at age 74, Buck came out of retirement for one last race in the Fast Masters series. Baker died on April 14, 2002 in Charlotte of natural causes. Elected to the NASCAR Hall of Fame in 2013, Buck Baker won two NASCAR Grand National Championships, 46 of 635 races, and 45 coals.